Hey everybody, I'm Michael and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to stake Cardano on the Yorai wallet. Is it Yorai? Is it Yoroi? I don't know, but I'm going to show you how to stake Cardano on this wallet. Everything that you will need is down below in the YouTube description. So if you have any questions, please make sure to read the description before you post a comment asking a question. I'll try to cover all of the things that you will have questions on. But if I do miss something, please leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So let's go ahead. We're going to visit a website called yourai-wallet.com. I'll put a link to it down below. In order to download the wallet or the extension to create your wallet, you'll come here, you'll click on download, and then you'll have the option of choosing whatever you want. For me, I'm going to install on my Brave browser, which is also the same button for Google Chrome. So I'm going to click this. And then I'm going to click Add to Brave and click Add Extension. Should pop up right up here for in a brief second and then disappear. And that's because it will be hidden in the extensions list. So we're going to click on the extensions button up here, scroll down, and I'm going to pin your eye to the top. I can close this window now and heading back up here, I'm going to click the button again to launch the your eye wallet extension. I'm going to choose my language, click continue. You can see all the things that your eye will not do, which is great. You can read all this, click to check that you agree, and click on continue. Now I am going to skip this for now, but if you want to read through this and allow it, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to click skip. And next up, we have to create the your eye wallet. For this tutorial, I'm going to click on create wallet. I could connect to a hardware wallet, and if you hover over the little eye, it says you can create or restore a URI wallet using a Ledger or Trezor hardware wallet. I have a Ledger, but I don't know that I want to explain how to connect the Ledger and everything like that right now. So instead, I'm going to create a wallet just in the browser right here. I'm going to click on Cardano because that's what we'll be creating and that's what we'll be staking today. I'm going to click on Create Wallet. I will give it a wallet name, a spending password, and then I'm going to repeat that password. So let me do that right now and then I'll move on to the next step. Once you've done that, let's click Create Personal Wallet. Now on the very next screen, it's going to show you a list of 15 random words. You're going to want to write these passphrases down. They're called seed phrases and they ensure you to be able to log back into your account if you ever lose your password. But make sure nobody looks into your screen unless you want them to because if they do see these seed phrases, they will be able to take over your account and you will potentially lose all of your money. So I'm going to go ahead and check this box, click continue, and I'm going to hide the words that they show on the next screen, but just know that you will be writing down your own words. And once you've written these down, I personally use a stone book. It's a cool little notebook that allows me to store all of my passwords, my seed phrases, and everything related to crypto all in one place. That's what I chose, but I would recommend you either write something offline. Don't put it in your password manager like LastPass because if LastPass gets hacked and somebody gets access to these seed phrases, your account could be compromised. And here they want to make sure that you've written them down correctly, so you're going to select them in the correct order. And then once you've done that correctly, you're going to click I understand that my secret keys are held securely on this device only and not the company's servers. And then you will also check this box as well. Let's go ahead and click confirm. And once that's done, you will see your URI wallet dashboard. If you've made it this far, I understand that if you're new to crypto, this has been a lot of information already. So let's take a quick pause. I will be back in a few seconds to show you exactly how to stake Cardano on your new URI wallet. So let's go ahead and look around the dashboard really quick just to be familiar with how everything works and what everything is. Transactions tab will show you all of your recent transactions. If you want to send money from this wallet into another wallet containing Cardano, you would use this. The receiver is where you're sending it. The amount is the, how much you're sending. And then you can select a custom amount or you can send all of your ADA or Cardano plus all the tokens. If you want to receive some Cardano in your account, this is your wallet address. You can copy it by pressing this button. And that way, if you want to go, and I'll show you in just a minute of how to do it or send Cardano from one place into this wallet so you can stake it, this is the address that you will use to send to. So I'll show you that in just a little bit. If you want to generate a new address, you come down here and click generate new address. And then you will see this is the first address. 
this is the second address. You can see that the numbers are a little bit different in each one, so you know that they are unique. There is a voting section that happens when you do end up staking Cardano, and there is a delegation list of the different stake pools that you can join. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use a stake pool that I'm familiar with, which is DNews. It's danteachescrypto.com. It's the one that I use on the adalite.io wallet, and it has been a really great way to earn a little extra money, especially using a service from a company or, or person on YouTube that I personally trust. All of these tabs up here on the top, you can see ROA, which is the estimated or return of ADA annualized. We've got the share pool size, We've got the cost for the entire pool, 5% plus 340. So the entire pool pays this. It's not you paying 348 ADA just to stake it. The pledge is the available pledge that was given by the DNews staking pool. They initially pledged 75,000 ADA for this pool and 40,000 for this pool. And we have the blocks. You can learn more about how the blocks work by hovering over the little I. But Let's go ahead and start staking some Cardano. Well, in order to stake, you need to have Cardano in your account. So we're gonna come back up here to the Receive tab. We're going to click to copy this, and now we're gonna head into where we have our Cardano stored or purchased, and then we will send that some Cardano into this address here. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I keep my Cardano staked currently in Adalite, but I'm gonna show you how to move funds from Adalite into the URI wallet. And it's a really simple process, but you, if you bought your Cardano in Binance or Crypto.com or another way, here you can see I'm logged into my Binance account. I am on the Binance.us version. If you're not in the United States, you'll be using Binance.com. But if I did have some Cardano here in my account, I would simply scroll down to my Cardano balance, click on it, and then I would say withdraw. And then here is where you would paste in the wallet address of this, going into your URI wallet. So you'd copy this, you'd come back here and paste it in. And then you would decide how much Cardano you wanna send from your Binance into this URI wallet. But because I don't have any Cardano here, I'm gonna jump over into my Ada Lite wallet. I'm going to come down here, connect my ledger, Nano X, and then I'm gonna click unlock. But this is just how I store my Cardano right now. But I'm willing to take it out of this account just to show you how to actually stake. So here you can see this is my current balance of Cardano. I'm going to send, so I've got the send tab open here. I'm just gonna come back to your eye, click on this wallet address, come back to my Ada Lite, and then paste in the address here because this is where I wanna send the funds. I've got ADA selected. So I'm just gonna go ahead and send 15. It'll show the fee, which is very, very low. And then once you've verified everything is correct, you're gonna come down and click send and then click confirm transaction. And once that's done, you can see that it is now a pending transaction. Once that completes, you will see my balance go down. Now where you will also see your balance go down in wherever you have your Cardano stored. You can see that my available balance has now been lowered by about 15 Cardano. So now if we head back over to the URI wallet and we come up here and refresh the page, you can now see that I have 15 ADA in my account. So now I'm ready to delegate or stake my Cardano. So let's come back up here and under the delegation list, let's click that. I'm gonna get again, search for D News click the green search icon. And I'm going to select this first one because it's got a slightly higher percentage of return. I'm gonna come over here and click delegate. It's fetching the pool information, it's generating the transaction. With your eye, you can only delegate to one stake pool at a time. That is different than Adalite. Adalite allows you to do it to multiple ones. You can switch to delegate to a different stake pool at any time, meaning you can stop staking or delegating in this pool and change it at any time and you can cancel your delegation at any time. This is the stake pool name, this is the stake pool ID, and if we come down here, this is the total amount that is staked in this stake pool, and I here I need to type in that spending password that I created when I first started this wallet process, so let me go ahead and do that now. And here it says that the current approximation of rewards that I will receive per epic, an epic is five days time. So with every five days, you will earn this reward based on the number of coins you are delegating. So that looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and click delegate. 
and we have successfully delegated. So you can track the status of the stake pool and the amount of time remaining to receive your next reward dashboard page. So let's go ahead and check that out. Let's go ahead and refresh just to make sure everything is updated. So you can see that I now have this available ADA and this is the total that I am delegating to the DNews stake pool. Now, if you notice, I started with 15 but I ended up with 12.8, and that's because there was a 2.2 ADA fee. So you pay a little bit upfront, but then every five days for every epic, you get a certain number of rewards like I showed you before. Now, when it comes to staking, you don't start earning immediately. You have to wait about a two or three week time period before your rewards start coming into your account. So as you can see down here, my very first epic is going to be on December 1st. And then on December 6th, I'll get another one, on December 11th, on December 16th, and so on. Every five days, I will get a certain reward for leaving my funds delegated in the URI wallet. And that's how it works across the board. If you go to adalite.io, I have a video on that if you wanna see what the staking's all about there. You can check it out, but it's the same process. You stake today, you wait a couple of weeks, and then you start receiving the rewards. It's not immediate. And that's all there really is to it. So let's say you deposited some ADA in your account and you realized you don't want it here, you want to move it out. Well, how do you do that? The first thing you do is you come up here and you click on send. Now it'll ask for a receiver. The receiver is the address of where you want to receive the funds that you're sending from your URI wallet. So if you had a Coinbase account, you would come over here and click on trade. You would type in ADA in the search bar, select it. You'd come up here and click on wallet. Then you would click on the receive tab, and this is where you are going to receive the funds that you send from your URI wallet. So you would come back to your Coinbase account, click the icon to copy it, come back to URI and paste in that address here. Then you would type in the amount that you wanna send. So let's say you wanted to send five, you calculate the fee, you can see the small fees right up here. Then you would click next, make sure everything looks good. You would type in your spending password, and then you would click send, and that's all there is to it. It's a really, really simple process to move money in and out of these different wallets. And if you have any questions, please leave them below, but always make sure to check the description below for answers to a lot of the typical questions. But if you find that there isn't something that was covered in the video and you wanted to learn more about it, please go ahead and leave a comment below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one, and I will see you guys in the next video.